Hello friends, this is Pastor Jason here and I just want to show you our Minecraft world. So first off, props to Danny for uh, suggesting the idea and even starting up this server. So here you can see my house that I've built. Yes, this is like my castle, my domain. Um, this is my first time playing Minecraft, so I am new to this and I have learned a lot. Minecraft has been out for a while and yeah, I missed out on it, but hey, never too late to learn. And it's amazing because I've been learning from the students and they can do amazing things on Minecraft. It just, yeah, it's just amazing. So here's my home. Yeah, pretty simple. Fireplace, some boxes, door, etc., etc. So for this, video, I just want to introduce that I'm going to plan to do a mini-series on Minecraft. So a mini-video series just to keep you in touch, uh, share what we've been talking about in youth group and the things that we've been doing on Minecraft. Uh, so not only do we have this Minecraft server, but we also meet up online on Thursday evenings. So you can check it out on our website for our full schedule. So here we have our my front yard, I guess, um, flowers. Yep my flowers I'm growing. And what is super cool is this right up here, the cross. So us students, we've been working towards Easter on a project on um, yeah, creating the cross up there with a communal space uh, to, yeah, in remembrance of what Christ has done. And we also have something cool up there. We've made a tomb and everything. So that's for another video, but look forward to that. So yeah. So here is our Minecraft space and I'm just going to briefly point to you, you know, the students that are involved and what they are doing and where their homes are. So starting with Joel, this is Joel's mountain right here. Um, yeah, there's some amazing things going on there, some magical stuff that I cannot explain. So that's Joel's mountain. Here's Danny's house with the bamboo and um, yeah, with all the stuff that he's doing over there. Here is Shauna's uh, lodge, really creative, really cool. I like how she built uh, her home, a place that I would probably want to stay at and when it, if it was real, that is. So yeah, that's cool. And yeah, we'll run over to Evans Island. So yeah, so there's Danny's house. Here's Shauna's lodge. Yeah, super cool. Something you probably like find in Whistler or something anyways. There is Evans Island, and along with Evans Island, there's also Nathaniel and Timothy. Um, I'm guessing they live there, I think. Uh, yeah, so that's the island, and if you go inside, it's like a rabbit hole. You just go in there, and I don't know where it goes, but that's for another day. I'll probably invite the students to show off their own homes. And we walk over to Danny's house. Some nice artwork, um, a farm. Not sure what's going on there, but yeah, whatever floats his boat. Anyways, cool. So we'll head back to my place. So yeah, this is our Minecraft server and uh, yeah, super cool idea. I've been learning from the students. Here is my, uh, I guess it's a store that I'm trying to put together. Um, it's my chicken store. So I run a chicken farm on Minecraft and I believe that is something I can do to help out the students because their abilities on Minecraft is amazing. Like they have so much resources and stuff. You just give them the space and enabling and empowering to do stuff and with purpose, they'll do amazing stuff. That's students for you. So yeah. Anyways, hey, water slide, jump down. Here is my chicken farm. So what I do here on Minecraft to encourage the students is I feed them with whole, free-range, ethically uh, raised chicken. See how happy they are? Not sure why they're hanging around this mountain, but I don't think they're trying to escape. But anyways, they are happy, and they are fed and live happy lives so that they end up in students' stomach that they can make they can make really cool things. So thank you chickens for doing what you do. Yeah, so, yep. So I'm the youth pastor at Jericho Ridge Community Church and 
Yeah, you'd think, what do youth pastors do? They, uh, they feed kids and make sure that they have fun. And yeah, that, that is a part of it. We do feed kids and we make sure they have fun. But being a youth pastor for myself is a calling, definitely. It's just something amazing when you have someone that come alongside your life, someone that's real, someone that shares life. And I resonate with that as I grew up. Uh, to have someone just, hey, um, let's go out, you know, do something or even to volunteer somewhere and just have someone live life. I really appreciate it when there are leaders saying, hey, I'm running an errand. Will you come along and uh, just tag along or something? Or you want, I need help in doing this. And we just live life together because there was um, someone older that I can just look up to and maybe model what I want and what I may not want. And I think being a youth leader, that is so meaningful. And as for me, I pursue that calling into becoming a youth pastor so I can um, bless kids in that way. So yeah, so with proximity, we have a safe space for students to have fun, you know, build community, learn, and explore their faith so that they can take ownership of what they believe in. So that's what we do here. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed our first Minecraft uh, mini video series video, and we'll keep you guys in touch. You take care.